It's your girl. So, I'm gonna come on today and try to do my lamp that Miss Wilson bought me. And I got some sequins pillows from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna cut them up and I'm gonna sublimate the image onto them. Hopefully, this will be enough. I only bought three. Hopefully it's enough to go around the whole pillow. I'm not for sure. But the lamp is not that big. And uh, they come from Dollar Tree. My homegirl got me got me one cent here where I stay from North Carolina. Our, uh, Dollar Tree does not have them. So this is the lamp with the little bottom half. And then it has like this little top half. So it's not real big. So thank God for that. Come this cute little box. And it does come with an LED light. I don't know what I did with it. But I did, there you go. There you go. I'm tripping. Come with a little LED light. So I will be uh, using my exacto knife that my homegirl, Miss Davis, bought me. She got these from Dollar Tree as well. So I will be using those. And uh, an image of my choice, which will probably be just my little baby cousin name. I'm going to do her a lamp with her name on it. Yeah, it's usual. Something for the baby. So we're going to get started. Okay. So, I'm going to try and uh, cut this fabric up real good. So, I got my scissors, my zigzag knife. I'm going to try to do the zigzag knife first. Like it's gonna take me a minute to try to get in here. This little zecto knife is dangerous. I don't like that. I don't know if I did it right. Y'all come in below and let me know. So I'm just trying to cut along the seam. The seam of it. Yeah, this thing bootleg is here. You get what you pay for though, but I ain't buy it. My homegirl bought it for me, which I do appreciate. So I got everything off of it. I got the image of my choice, but I probably made the image a little too big because I'm gonna have to cut some of this fabric. I could uh, easily fold it. I don't wanna. Never cut it. So. But I didn't want to drive all the way across town just to go get it. So, I headed over to Dollar Tree and got the pillows. Cause it was just an idea. I don't know if it's going to work out or not. But you know how that goes. So, I would say, I would cut. So I'm going to fold just a tad though. Let me just cut it like this. Maybe that'll help me a little bit. Should have used my little rotary blade thingy, but then I thought about my paper on my table. Okay. So, this is what it's looking like so far. And hopefully we have a lot to wrap. And so for my image, my, I had to cut it because it might be too big. So, like I said, I'm gonna try to you know, finish out the picture yet. So I'm gonna to go above that line there. So that's one piece of 
Chris. I'm just gonna press the other for six seconds when my timer go off. My heat press is on 398. in here. Maybe I can put a name on the side or something. I don't know. Let's see, bring it down soon. Press that thing for 60 seconds. Put a name to the side because I really want a name on there, y'all. And uh, the other one, I might just try to put the whole thing like it's supposed to be, like how I made it. But we don't know how it's gonna turn out, so we shall see. Okay, so. I feel like it got kind of stiff real bad, but so far it's on there. Um, I probably shouldn't have um, cut it beforehand because I feel like it drew up some, but that just, I don't know. Yeah, my holder, Miss Davis made me this, and they're supposed to hold cups, and they're a good thing. They got who you know on there, she customized it for me. So I can be able to hold stuff and not work so hard, but I'm not gonna still have to work hard because I'm gonna have to glue as a go and cut as a go. Like I said, my first time doing it like this, so we just gonna wing it as usual. I probably should use a glue gun, but I don't know. I'll find out in a minute, huh? I'm just gonna put a little E6000 on here. Mostly on the edges and uh, on top part for show. I don't know how this gonna hold up, so don't put me on it. I just don't want it to come loose, so that's why I'm using E6000. And I'm just rubbing glue all over it. And then, I'm place it down. I get it glued and everything, then we'll probably be able to see some, like, you know. I think I had to glue it on down. So I'm waiting on my glue gun to get hot. This piece here is just looking a hot mess. So I don't know how this about to play out. It looks crooked, like I think it got cool it's, it's scratchable it's a scratchable material i noticed that so that's a good thing but you'll see
bun. That's what I could have did, y'all. Probably could have put some heat in bun, but then I don't know if that sequin would have moved or not. I don't want to move with this here, for all I know. And I will go back and trim stuff. Right now, I just wanted to stay down. So I'm gonna glue it like this. I'm gonna put, I don't wanna really mash it, because the glue come through. See, her name is there, so. I'm gonna cut that little part. Let me see what it's gonna wrap all the way around before I start cutting. Yeah, it ain't. I'm gonna have the nigga red, which is fine. I don't mind. I'm just gonna put a little glue here. I should eat all that glue fast. I gotta buy me a new gun because this don't make no damn sense. I'm I had a piece, some sequins in here. So I should have did. Couple more, but I I guess it's a good thing not to glue the area with the picture because the glue gun do come through and you want to be able to move the sequence. That's the whole point of the, the knot for me. I want her mama to be able to remove 
as you can see the picture. So, So far, though. So, let's do that. And this part. This is an LD bike. My mama probably just uses it for fashion anyway. What y'all think? Cute or no? Make sure y'all come in, like, and subscribe to the girl's channel. It's good to know how I did. If you think I should have did something different, whatever it is, let me know.